Going to build a building, how will you ensure the construction phase? Property owners and contractors involved in new construction or remodeling projects have an insurable interest in protecting their financial investment in the structure being built or renovated. For most builders risk insurance clients, it is comforting to know that in the event of a covered loss, which is to say by fire, vandalism, theft of equipment or materials, or other covered damage as defined in the insurance policy, insurance can help minimize the financial impact and get the construction project back on track. While the policy provides coverage for the property that was damaged, stolen, or destroyed, your agent should help you, the builder's risk client, understand that a multitude of other expenses not included in most standard builder's risk policies may follow in the wake of a loss. Fortunately, you can choose to add coverage for soft costs to help mitigate your out-of-pocket expenses. Soft costs refer to expenses incurred during construction that are not associated with labor or building materials, but that can nevertheless be directly attributed to a covered loss. Examples of soft costs include expenses that need to be paid again or expenses that arise as a result of a covered loss. Here are eight examples of soft costs. However, these will vary as the term is not standardized among insurance companies. Number one, advertising and promotional expenses. Number two, interest on construction loans. Number three, architects, engineers, and consultants fees. Number four, real estate and property tax assessments. Number five, commissions or fees for lease renegotiation. Number six, insurance premiums. Seven, legal and accounting fees. And eight, license and permit fees. In order to determine whether or not these expenses will be covered, it will be necessary for your agent to review the builder's risk policy with you. If soft costs are not specified in the policy, the expenses will be excluded, even though it results from the damage caused by the lightning strike. The items provided in the list are generally covered as soft costs, although each client's policy terms will ultimately define soft costs. You should also understand that soft costs will only be covered for the period of time after the construction delay has passed the deductible time period as specified in your policy, and they will end on the date when the store is reasonably, reasonably expected to be rebuilt to the original stage prior to the loss. To meet your needs, your agent should help you understand what soft costs are and how you can mitigate your risk of out-of-pocket expenses by specifically electing soft cost coverage when purchasing builder's risk policies. Any questions? Give us a call. Maybe we can help.